But, you know, if the car flips and whatever, I'll just upload this post-mortem, posthumous. That's not even, that's very hard to do. Uh, but I've been practicing. This is the decaying story of a man named Toby Joseph Turner. Better yet known online as Tobuscus. For a lot of us, Tobuscus was a beacon of entertainment and happiness. He would bring us endless hours of joy and laughs throughout his videos. But as of recently, his videos have had a different mood. A mood of disintegration. A feeling that his peak and his prime is well past its expiration date. But before we get into why his career and his channels are now a rotting graveyard, let's rewind the clock to a time where Tobuscus took over the internet, shall we? Tobuscus! Tobuscus was born on March 3rd, 1985, and was for a period of the time the most subscribed channel on the internet. His first video was a parody skit of the hit Adam Sandler movie Click, a movie so great it sold over 3 trillion tickets, no don't fact check that, believe me bro. Anyways, in his first video you can very clearly see that Toby had a knack for acting. He wanted to be the center of attention, which made sense, it was his video after all. Tobuscus' style of content is often extroverted, rambling and energetic. He's always at 100% in his videos, no in-betweens. This would be revealed later and make sense to line up with his substance abuse. But no matter what subject his videos was about, he always avoids using severe profanities and censors any explicit content due to his target audience. Children. Oh my god, I hit the mic again. Fuck. See, because of his over-the-topness, Toby's personality was perfect for the younger audience. And yes, before you ask, I did fall for it too. My first Minecraft video, no you will not see it, it's fucking bad, was actually inspired by Toby and his over-the-top personality. His fame began to accumulate because of one of his earliest viral videos titled Don't Taze Me Bro. But this was the beginning of his virality. V vi virality? Is, is that a word? I don't know. Anyways, people know Tobuscus not for his over-the-top personality or Don't Taze Me Bro video, but through his parodies. See, Tobuscus is very musically competent. He knows what he's doing with his parodies and his musical talent was out of this world. which led to one of his first Minecraft parodies to go viral. This is probably the stuff we all remember him for fondly. His game parodies were so contagious. They had a jingle effect to them. They were easy to remember, easy to play, and easy to sing, which made them and their popularity skyrocketed to fame out of this world. But what if I were to tell you that he had one parody that, in my opinion, ruled over them all? A parody is so contagious that I literally sing it every time I get a McDonald's breakfast with my sister. This parody was none other than his Nugget in a Biscuit parody. Although it doesn't have as many views as his Minecraft parody videos, but the fact that this nothing song about a fucking Nugget in a Biscuit dipped in mashed potatoes garnered so much views just blows my fucking Dutch Caribbean boy mind. 
this this song deserves more views to be honest anyways in this period of time toby was at the highest peak in his career Nothing but success in the form of TV deals, collabs with popular YouTubers, movie roles, and even voicing Scott Lang in an Avengers mobile game. The highs were looking really high for our Biscuit Nugget Boy, with no end in sight for our Nugget Biscuit Boy. So what went wrong? Well... A lot. What is up, Trouble Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news! Tobuscus' ex-girlfriend, April Fletcher, better yet known online as April F., made an allegation against Tobuscus. An allegation against Tobuscus being addicted to drugs, that he cheated on several of his former partners, and that he, uh, you know, Bill cosby April back in 2013. How fitting, that actually lines up with the Bill Cosby suite, but we're not here to talk about that. All of this information was written on a Tumblr blog post. A very, very lengthy blog post, I might add. Now this is the part of the story that gets a bit... Screwy. I'm sorry for using that word, but this is the part of the story where some people don't believe to be true, and others do. It's very confusing, and honestly, it's not really clear even to this day. Personally, I didn't want this to be true back then, back in the day, but upon seeing how lengthy and how detailed the Tumblr post is, and how not one, not two, but three people agreed with April's statement, it's kind of hard to ignore that. But one thing is for sure, Toby kind of made the situation a bit worse for himself. On April 11th of the same year, Tobuscus released a video where he claimed that all of Fletcher's claims were false and that he had never done anything without her consent and never tried to trick her into anything. Now, at face value, this video sees Toby in a different light, something that we weren't used to. But upon digging deeper and doing more research, this might have been Tobuscus trying his best to defuse the situation and trying not to get his career destroyed. Spoilers, it didn't work. Because of all these allegations, he lost his role as Ant-Man from the Marvel's Avengers Academy. You gotta fuck up pretty fucking bad to have your voice be replaced as Ant-Man. Within the first few years of his three channels running concurrently, Turner was considered one of the most popular YouTube personalities, later recognized as a mainstay, pioneer, and one of the site's greatest innovators. And they're correct. Toby was, for a period of time, the most recognizable YouTube personality. But unfortunately, as the years go on, the allegations left a mark on his career. His videos garnered less and less views over the years compared to back in the day. A ton, if not a lot of his videos on his blog channel, barely get over 100,000 views. Now I know talking about views isn't all important, but honestly his content hasn't really changed over the years and you can kind of see that he kind of gave up. And the obvious reason is because not only is his content starting to become something, I don't really know, but also because his main fans of years have grown up. I am a prime example of this. Personally, I think Toby right now has lost his spark. He's trying too hard to make people laugh and make people enjoy his content. It comes across as disingenuous. He puts on this Tobuscus persona who is always at 100%, but the line between Toby Turner and Tobuscus is so blurred that at this point, I don't even know if he's genuinely like that in real life or if his coked up persona is just for YouTube. I got a message. Who the fuck messaged me? Stop messaging me about VTubers. Damn. Actually, no, keep, keep them go. He has a hard time separating himself from his content, and even when he does separate himself from his content, all we hear are bad things, and most of it involving drug use. Or any other kind of substance. I don't know. It could be alcohol. I don't fucking know. I don't know what that man's putting in his, his nugget biscuit, I don't fucking know. But an example of his persona and his IRL self having a blurred line is a video called Dear Algorithm, where he blames the algorithm for people not finding and watching his videos. 
all the work. No work is needed. How did you get here? Speaking of which, do you happen to know the person who handles the algorithm situation? Because I would just love to go to their house and just ask them a question. You could even pass it on. If you just be like, hey, Toby wants to know, could you turn off the algorithm? Just turn it off. Delete it, uninstall it, send it back to hell. Just because, because then, well, <laughs> let me tell you what happened. People that would subscribe to content, they would see the content. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Usually whenever I see a content creator bitch about the algorithm, I think they just haven't done a good job at being a content creator. The algorithm isn't the sole source for your problems. Look back at your content and see what people liked about it. Accept feedback and apply it to your content. Don't make some bullshit excuse like, oh, the algorithm fucked me. Nah, nah, bro. If I had a nickel for every time fucking I reviewed a content creator who said, oh, the algorithm fucked me, I would be rich. I would not be here. I would probably be on Epstein's Island with a bunch of hookers and playing blackjack. But anyways, how is Toby doing today? Well, not so well. On his main channel with over 6 million subscribers, his latest video garnered 217,000 views and was last uploaded five months ago. Yeesh. His literal trailers are garnering a fraction of what they used to and his content and channel slowly decaying and being a shadow of their former selves. It's sad to see that this once in a literal term giant of YouTube slowly die off like it's an endangered species. He was a piece of YouTube's history whether he liked it or not. I spent hours upon hours watching and enjoying his content when I was young but as I got older I matured, and so did his audience, but Toby didn't. But that's it for this video. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. And if you have any stories about Tobuscus of your own, please leave it down in the comment section down below, whether it be a good memory or just how you stumbled across this channel. I don't know. Just leave a comment down below. I'll make sure I read it. I try my best to read a lot of the comments, and it just it, it makes my day whenever you guys comment, all right? But yeah, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys. I'm going to see you guys. We'll be real soon until then. Don't be a stranger. Bye. Although, wait, let me let me put this actually over here. There we go. I'm just lured. Fucking pop filter came off. That's annoying. Call me from Miami. Miami. I took so long